Okie dokie, let's get this React SEO component plumbed in, configured, installed, um, and um, have the, the correct props passed into it for our blog. So um, let's, let's take a quick look at what we're going to use it for. We're going to have it in our index page uh, where we need these props. Um, and then for a, our blog post template, uh, we're going to need some additional information. Uh, article adds um, JSON linked data um, for for the post. Uh, published date, we can get that from the front matter. And a modified date, we can just have that as today's date. Um, but first, uh, we're going to need to install it. So let's do that. Let's hop on over to terminal here and uh, we'll paste this in. And we'll get that installed and um, we'll just take another look at the props here um, and the code we've got. So um, we've got some of that information already in our site metadata. Um, we can add a lot more to that as well. Um, so let's just flip between, oops, uh, flip between the two here quickly. Um, so we've got um, title. Put that in there, description, we've got that already. Um, an image, we can get um, a default site image, we can download one, put that in the uh, static folder of, um, we'll create a static folder for Gatsby, and then put the image in there, and then at build time, that will be available at the forward slash, um, uh, just like the root folder. Uh, path name is going to be the site URL. Um, site language and site locale. Site language, um, we need that for the metadata as well. Locale is needed for Facebook. Um, I've noticed with um, the, uh, the, the the Open Graph uh, debugging tool, you need a locale passed in there. And it's very similar to um, site language, but, but it's not the same. Um, so we need to add that in as well. Uh, Twitter username. And we also need um, uh, an author name as well. Um, so this information um, could come from um, a CMS, but we've got it all configured locally. Um, so for the blog post, um, pretty much the same as the index page, but there's some additional information, like the um, we're going to need to put an author in here. It's not in the documentation. I'll have to update that. Um, an article. This will add the JSON link data. Uh, published date, we can get that from the front meta and modified date, we can generate that as today's date. Um, okay, so did we uh, did we install it? Uh, looks like we have. Okay, um, so let's let's go and get some. Uh, let's build out the site metadata first. So let's let's cut this. Uh, I've, I've, I've sort of taken to this approach now where. Um, just have it in like a separate object for the site metadata. I don't know if this is site metadata. Uh, just so you can separate them out really. Um, no other reason then I'd just like to have it a bit more tidy than that. So uh, image. Um, put that in there. Um, what else are we going to need? We're going to need path name, which is going to be site URL, uh, site language, site locale, Twitter username. So one, two, uh, three, four, which is going to be uh, site URL and site language and what do you have there? Site language, site locale, and Twitter username. Let's duplicate that again. Twitter, Twitter username, and also. Um, author name cool 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 right so image um, we will just get a uh, we'll get a default site image dot jpeg or whatever png um, site url um, for me um, https scott and this is going to be the dot blog um, you can put in um, whatever you have. Um, I mean, just for debugging, you can put in any URL 
um, but once we um, push it to production, we're going to need to have a, a valid URL to, to debug the open graph stuff with. Uh, for the time being, you can put in um, just a dummy URL until you get a one which is valid. So site language uh, for me here in the UK, it's ENGB and the site locale is en underscore GB. Twitter username, um, Spence is 10. And my name is Scott Spence. So save that. Uh, so we've got some additional information we can get via our um, site metadata hook now. So description, title, um, and an image. So I'm just gonna quickly select all of this and copy pasta into here and hit save. So this will be available via the uh, site metadata hook now. Um, right, let's get in this over here. So for our index and our blog post, we are going to want to configure this stuff. So, um, or let's do index first of all, and um, let's um, import. Um, let's just validate it first of all. So we use our trusty dump component here, uh, which is in components. But I need to say where it's from. Components and it's dump, and then it's going to put it in here. Dump, um, and then we're just going to want this. Here, copy pasta, and then this information we're going to need to get from our site metadata hook. So, um, do I still have it in the clipboard? Nope, nope, I do not. So, um, what do we need? Title, description, image, uh, pretty much all of it. Copy that and put that in. Here and um, let's just I have to put a comma at the end of each one of these as well, like that. And they're going to come from uh, use, use site metadata all the way down the bottom here. But this is auto import, so if we click on it, it will import it up here for us. It's cool, and this is a function, so I need to put the closure at the end there. Save. Okay, so let's check our terminal. Um, cannot find image on site metadata. Um, okay, so image. Uh, yep. So we're probably going to need to restart a dev server, but we actually need an image as well. So I'm just going to go and go to dump, not dump, <laughs> unsplash, and unsplash.com, and we're going to get ourselves a localhost blog page default image um a local pub uh, we're gonna go with this one local and big letters um we'll have to um credit um priscilla dupree's um is this it here okay so i'm going to show this in my folder um i say yes and i'm going to move this off to here because you don't need to see that and I'm going to cut that and uh, move it into my repos folder for uh, the localhost blog. And um, we're going to need to make a new static folder. Uh, how do you spell static? Wow, static. And then we're just going to dump that in there. Control V. And then F2. Give that the same name as what we've got in here. So uh, default image dot JPG. JPG is the same file type. Okay, cool. Um, so that should be in a folder structure here. Yes. Okay. So um, let's um, stop and start our dev server. And um, just validate the rest of this information we've got here. So we've got title, we've got description, or nothing. Um, we've got image, which is image here that's okay um site url is going to be our site url that's cool site language coming from here 
Got language, site locale, their Twitter username there. Okay, uh, I think we only need author name in our blog post. So let's hit save on that. And um, um, warning now, what else for? Author name is assigned a value but never used. Um, and it's popped open the dev pane for us um, it's gonna close that one and uh, this we don't need this anymore don't need that or that that anymore we do need to look at this okay so we've got a title coming in description uh, image um, although it's correct we need to prepend it with the actual URL otherwise it's not gonna um, it's gonna fail so let's go to Close that. Let's go to the code and for our image here in index, we're going to need this to be um, our site URL too. Um, like this, copy, and then uh, we're going to surround these with some curlies and then um, the whole thing in some back ticks and then add these as variables. So if we hit save and then take another look, that should be, yep, the, the full path now. Cool, 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 cool. All right, so um, we've got our index page configured. So now let's move on to um, doing the, uh, the blog post page. Um, just looking at the time here, I'm thinking maybe um, what we'll do is we'll call it for this one. And then we'll go in and configure the um, the blog post one separately in a separate video. But um, before we do that, let's make this the uh, SEO component, React SEO, and uh, we'll replace dump here with SEO, and then we'll save that, and then we'll make sure um, nothing's gone wrong here. So let's take a look at the terminal. Needs to be gravy. Cool, cool. So in the next video, we will uh, we'll configure the, um, the the actual blog post. So we'll take a look at adding any our props for that, the additional ones we need for that. Um, and then we will build the site and we will check our meta tags and then um, possibly uh, look at deploying uh, to production. But for this video, that's going to be it. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, bye.